Is this you? Help, I do not have time to manage Pinterest. I'm doing all the things in my business. I'm trying to do Instagram, TikTok, and now you're telling me I have to do Pinterest marketing and I don't have any time. Today, we're gonna talk about that. If you are new here, welcome. I am Kate from Simple Pin Media. We are a Pinterest marketing agency and we've been doing Pinterest marketing for 10 years. We've been working with so many clients that we get to take all that information and pass it on to you so that you can create a better Pinterest strategy. So let me give you some tips for how you can do Pinterest in a little amount of time. First, I'm gonna start with what you should not be doing. One, You should not be searching every single Facebook group under the sun for tips and tricks. Two, you should not be buying a ton of different courses and never taking them. And three, you should not be spending all your time on scheduling if you're at that point. And what I mean by scheduling is you are scheduling out all your pins using either Tailwind or Planoly or Hootsuite or whatever. You can use the Pinterest native scheduler as well. But you're spending so much time scheduling, you're analyzing it all. And I know some of y'all have some spreadsheets and you keep track of every single pin. And I'm going to tell you, And that is a waste of your time. We have analytics for a reason. They track things for us. So this is how to waste your time. So don't do any of this until you have a really good plan for it. Now we're going to talk about the things that you should spend your time on. All right, let's go on the assumption that your Pinterest profile is beautiful. It is all set up. If you want to know how to set up your Pinterest profile, you can click on the link below in the description. We'll get you all set up. But first... Assuming we have all that set up, you want to look at keywords. You want to look at the platform. You want to use the search bar at the top of Pinterest. When you search just like this, it shows search prediction for keywords underneath. These are the keywords that are working on Pinterest. Then you want to look for keywords on the trends tool. When are your keywords trending? Take 15 minutes, maybe even 30 and identify 10 keywords you're going to try to use in your boards your board description, your pin title, and your pin description. And you're going to keep those in rotation, probably about three months. And then you can check on them. You can see how they do in analytics. That's a whole nother video that we're going to talk about at another time, but just get your 10. The next place you need to spend your time is images. And I would argue this is the most important place to spend your time. And oftentimes, this is the last thing that people think about. They create all their content, they're building all their product listing, and then they think about Pinterest marketing, hop into Canva, slap something together and put it out there. That is the most unintentional way to use Pinterest. Images on Pinterest are the first thing that people see. It's where they make the decision whether or not they're going to click or not, whether they're going to save or not. So this needs to be the most place that you spend your time. And if you have never created an, an image intentionally, here's a few things that I want you to think about. One, I want you to think about your branding in the image. Are the colors or the fonts, does it reflect what people will see when they click on your website? That's really, really important. Number two, if you're using text on your image, what text are you using? Are you using those keywords from the list that you just created? Are you creating a really great statement that's going to get them curious? That's going to make them want to click. Or if you have a product, are you putting it in a lifestyle image that really gets them curious and intrigued about how your product can fit into their life? So an image might take you a lot of time to create in the beginning. I have spent 30 to 45 minutes on one image. If you are struggling to create a new image for yourself, we have two options for you. One, we have Canva templates that you can buy. They're down below in the description. Number two, we have a really great design team that can create designs for you, especially if you're not design forward. I am not. I cannot create great images. They're really, really difficult for me and it does waste a lot of time. So if you want to speed up your time in this department, hire it out if you can afford it. Once a year, and I mean once a year. Here at Simple Pen, we discount our services for Christmas in July. Why do we do Christmas in July? For one reason. We know that creators and merchants need to get their ish together for Q3 and Q4 on Pinterest. Why? Because that is the time where the traffic from Pinterest, the saves from Pinterest are the greatest. But here's what we also know, that you are spread thin, 
you have a hard time figuring out what's best, you don't want to create images, you simply want to create your content or really ship out your products, whatever you need to do for your business. So we at Simple Pen want to take that off your plate in whatever way we can and help you navigate this really busy holiday season so that you can make more money and your business can grow. So throughout the month of July, we're offering 15% off any one of our services. The offer can't be combined. It's just one service. But the reason we want to do this is because we know that businesses are stretched thin right now and they need some help. And we want to help take Pinterest off your plate. This offer ends July 31st, 2024. So what we want you to do is book a call with our team. And our team will help you figure out which service is right for you and then apply the discount to the service that you sign up for. So click the link below, book a call so our team can take this off your plate and you can rock this holiday season. Now we're going to talk about where and how you can spend your time when it comes to scheduling and pinning. You want to be really intentional about the very first pin that you add to the platform. So let's say you've just created this amazing Pinterest image with the right keywords that's all about how to make sourdough pancakes. If you have a breakfast board and it's sourdough breakfast ideas, that needs to go onto that board. That's really important that it goes there right? Then after that, you can pin that pin to other boards that closely match the topic. That if you're using a a really good tool, that should be really, really quick for you because you can easily schedule them right away. I would say probably 10 minutes or less. Now with subsequent pins, people kind of overthink it. Can I pin again? Can I not pin again? A lot of these tools will tell you if you've pinned it and when you've pinned it. So go ahead and rely on that and don't overthink that. Just try to get your new content onto the boards that are correct and closely match the keywords. Now, if you are a type A person and you just, I completely lost you and you were like, I need to know pin A, pin B, pin C, I get that. And we will try to create a resource for you in the future. But for now, I just want you to let go of that a little bit. I promise you on Pinterest, there's no gotchas. There's no, whoop, you pin this to the wrong board, you're out. You're marked as spam. It doesn't work that way. So if you have that fear, don't be afraid. Just go ahead and pin to the most relevant boards. It's the only thing I want you to remember. So how much time is too much time on Pinterest? I would say if you came to me and you were saying, Kate, I'm spending 10 hours a week on Pinterest, I would be like, pump the brakes, there's something wrong. Where are you spending the majority of your time? One of the best things that you can do is a time audit. When you are working on Pinterest, write down when and what you're doing for three days. So you can see, oh, I'm spending too much time on my images. I'm spending too much time in Facebook groups. I'm spending too much time. Well, I don't know, but you can at least identify where you're spending too much time. Our goal is to have you do two to four hours a week on Pinterest, two to four. If you're getting more than that, I mean, if you're in five, it's not like a deal breaker, but if you're five plus, there might be something that we need to tweak and change. So if you need help, our team is here to help you at any time. You can click the links below in the description to work with us. My goal for you is that Pinterest is productive, efficient, and it helps you reach your goals for your business without spending too much time. And this is for my friends who are like me, who struggle with images. We created an image workshop recently and people just had their minds blown. It was really great. It was done by our director of design and you can buy the replay down below in the description. I promise you it's a great one hour of your time that will really result in great images on Pinterest that will ultimately grow your business. Get great at time management with Pinterest and have it be an effective tool for you. 